Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony Ivy and Time in the Kitchen. And today in the kitchen, we're actually going to be creating two things. We're going to create a centerpiece for the kitchen table. And this centerpiece is going to be on the kitchen table for Thanksgiving. And uh, we're going to actually lay out the tablescape. For Thanksgiving. I think it may be a little long, so because of that I'll probably do it in two videos. One will say kitchen table centerpiece and the other will say the kitchen table tablescape. So if you're interested in what I'm going to do with this table, please stay tuned. Okay, for this particular tablescape, I have a tablecloth on the table, but as you know, this is my work area and the work area needs to be protected, so that's why that's there. You can see on the side that I have an entire box full of goodies and uh, that I'm going to be using for this particular tablescape. In this bird cage, we, I have placed in here uh, uh, an older Christmas greenery. And uh, that Christmas greenery, I kind of stuffed it in. I fluffed it out just to make sure I had lots of little prongs on the outside and anywhere I had, I've forgotten to do that. You'll see me doing that every now and then just to make sure that I get everything out. Now, this greenery is going to be in here for a while, but I promise you, that for the most part, most of this green, you're not even going to see. So we're going to continue to fluff and fluff. And you're also going to see that down in the center, I've made a space. And in that space, I'm going to place an, an old, uh, this was a jar that a candle was um, candle wax was in from Walmart and I am going to place that jar down in the center of this bird cage. Now the reason for that is because I have this wonderful smelling candle that I want in there but should it drip when I decide to burn it it will have something to go into. Now actually that container will disappear you won't even know it. You won't even know it's in there. So, we're going to start to take a look at some of the things that we're going to be placing onto and into this bird cage. The first thing is, is that I want to, uh, like I said, cover up most of the greenery. So, I'm going to start adding in. I'm going to let it blend a little bit because, you know, eventually, um, Pine is around all the time and uh, year round. And so it's not a problem really to have the pine. Now I'm going to work around this bird cage. And if I get quiet on you, don't be concerned. It's just that I'm thinking while I'm working. So I have all kinds of pieces that I'm putting in, so I'm going to close this for just a moment, I'll come back to that. So I'm putting that in, and all of this will be very easy to take apart when it's time to switch seasons and go to Christmas. So uh, I've got bows, I've got flowers, I have all kinds of things. Now I also decided I'd do a little spraying of paint. And I added in some pieces of um, ID, of course, but that ID doesn't look like what most of the ID normally looks like. It's been sprayed kind of a greenish gold, and um, I'm adding some of that in. I also took some of the pieces of the leaves and gave them a little spray as well. So you're going to see that. I think I'm going to move these and do them in a triangle. So let me put 
put those in as a triangle. And then in the end, there we go. That's one. And I'm going to put this, switch these, this more on the end. I like working in triangles. When you're working in threes, remember, think odd numbers when you're decorating. And in this case, here's our triangle. And if you don't have all the odd numbers, then if cer so certainly you can think opposites. So in this case, I'm going to put, I only have two of these, and I'm going to put one here and one here. So there goes in a little bit of that gold. Now in addition to that, I do have some more greenery, but it's a different shade of greenery. So I'm going to put them in, let's see, I think I have three of those. So here's one, and let's say here's two, and one over here is going to be three. There we go, We're getting those threes in. Okay, so you can see that's filling in pretty quickly. I also have more gold leaves that I'm going to add in. And I think I'm going to put them in right in here. One here. And I'm going to put a little gold in back here. So I'm just going to pop those in just to add a little more color to and you'll see little sparks of gold every now and then. Ah, here's some. I also took my pumpkins and kind of gave them a little gold, uh, gold bean as well, but I'm not quite ready for pumpkins, so let's hold on to that for a moment. I had some other pieces of greenery, and uh, let me think about those for just a minute. I ran across some uh, little fall flowers that I think will go with this very well, little hydrangeas, and I'm, I have four of them, so I'm going to put one at each corner. So there's one there, and here's one back here. I'll do it this way, just, be, just in case I've miscounted. And I have one here, put that back there. And I, have, I did have one more. I had four. I thought I'd counted it correctly. But, you know, you never know. Now, you'll notice that I added into the center a pumpkin, little gold pumpkin with leaves. And that's kind of filling in there. Um, I do have some little sparkly beads. Little beads that I took off of a uh, garland, and I'm going to take those, I cut it apart, and I'm going to take some of those. I said I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of those. So, I think I'll start first on each side and put it in just to add a little extra sparkle. Then there's one. There's one opposite. There's two. And they're all wired, so that's nice because it just makes it so easy to stay in. Here's one at, there's one on this side at three. I know you can't see it, but I'll turn all that around so you can. Here's one I need to wrap just a little bit. When he got cut, he kind of fell apart. Okay, this one is going to be four. Hmm. Let me turn this around. This will give you a chance to peek at the other side as well. See what I've done. See if I can get this in. what I'm hitting, but I'm hitting something. 
Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, I think it's just bending. That's part of the problem. You can wiggle them in. Okay, that's not in. I think I have so much stuff over on this side. Okay, there we go. Now he's in. All right, got another one. Find the end. I have one, two, I have one more. So for these, this one I'd actually added on when I was playing around with it. I thought I was going to put it on this uh, larger pine cone, but I don't think that works. So I'm going to take this off and just Had twisted it on, and you know what? Now it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> it took me forever to get this thing on there, and now it doesn't want to come off. There it goes. Okay, let's see if I can straighten this out and get that twisted in. Okay, we're ready. One, two, three. So I think I'll put a few on the inside. Let's do that. I'm going to put some a little sparkle here and a little sparkle over there. And if it hangs out, it's okay. Remember, we're inside of that container. I have a little sparkle over here. You know, sometimes you think, you would think with pine that it would have enough openings to allow you to do just about whatever you wanted, but it doesn't always work that way, I'm finding. Okay, so I've got those in. So they're not going to be in the way of the candle. And let's see. All right, we're going to close. Oh, while we're in here, I have some little pine cones, and I think I'll add a few pine cones in for the benefit of those who are looking and that will also help with some of the camouflage there we go got some little pine cones in there some are big and we've got some that are teeny tiny so that's kind of nice and got a little pumpkin in there all right now on the outside when i went to Hobby Lobby. I found some pumpkin picks still. I was surprised he still had some. But some little pumpkin picks and I could only get two that look just alike. So I am going to I'm going to close this part up. And I think what I may do is to kind of put together a little swag for the top. Oh, I think that will work perfectly. So, let me get something to secure these. And we're going to sway. Here's some beads we can add to the sway. Oh, we're going to have fun. Okay, well, and let's put this in as well down here. So, let me get something to secure these. And I'll bring you right back. All right, so I secured this with three zip ties. You can see those three zip ties. And I have a bow that's ready. Nice apples, lots of golds, lots of reds. And what I'm going to do is to secure this right to this little swag. And I'm actually, because, you know, you never know, next year I may want different ribbons. So I'm going to actually tie this on rather than zip tying it on. So I'm going to put it on. No one will ever know. Tie it on very tight. And uh, there it goes. And this, I have 
two longer streamers. Let's see, where's the back? Okay, I'll flip the ring over. I'm gonna put this toward the front. And I'm going to tie my swag onto our birdcage. I like doing that when I have uh, either a lantern or a bird cage. I can certainly switch this and put this little topper on a lantern rather than the bird cage. That just ha this just happens to be what I'm using right now. I'll turn around so you can see where I tied it. I tied it right there. And I'm going to work with the ribbons to get them so that they're not wild and that they look like they're a part of the design. I'm going to do some bending because after all, when you're dealing with wire, you can bend. So I'm going to bend some things so that they're visible from all directions. And then just fluff the ribbon because I want the back to look as nice as the front. And this is the back. So let's me turn it around so we can see what we're doing. Make sure we have everything nicely planned there. I think that will work. Got nice leaves. Got pumpkins. They're visible. And we're back to the front. Go. There, I like that. I like that. Got lots of greenery here. I still have um, some larger pine cones that I consider putting in. And let's see if they'll stay. They might. there. And he's stuck in far enough where I know he'll stay in place. I'll put one in the back. So it will stay in place. Okay, got one back here. Now, I have these little um, leaves and I've sprayed them gold and silver and I'm just going to kind of stick them in to add a little extra color and a little extra texture all around our design. Add a little extra fall to what we're doing. And the good thing is, is that they're on wire. They are easy to work with. Just kind of stick them in. You can show the, the gold side or the silver side. Some sides kind of came out mixed. Put them in right down there. That little whiteness will kind of brighten up the rest of them. And some things I had considered putting in, I may not. I still have a few little pine cones to add in. And they poke them in. I don't want to uh, do a lot of gluing because this isn't going to go far. It's just going to sit right here. This is the table where it's going to be. Now let's see if we have another spot. See, we have silver there. Let's do a little gold over here. gold in there. Okay. And I need one more. One more. And I think I'll put him in right there. Okay. 
And, you know, we don't have to use all. Okay, I'm happy with that. Or, actually, we may be able to use one at the top. Let's see. Up on the back, you've got the front. Let me see if we want to go that in to add a little more texture. I don't know that it's necessarily adding to what we're doing. Maybe, 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 maybe not. Just kind of coordinating things, if, if anything. All right. There we go. All right, so that's it. I like that. All right, the center piece is done. Now, I'm going to bring you down, let you see it a little closer, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Okay, I lowered the lights to see if you will be able, this is kind of a cloudy day, and I've been using a lot of, some of the window lights, but not as much. Now, I have these little twinkle lights that, you know, I'm all about the lights. And it really all about the twinkle. So I decided I would put the box in and I'm gonna put that box on the inside and then I'm going to start to work some of that twinkle into this arrangement. Can you see that? So I'm putting those in. That will maybe keep me from lighten the candle so much because I'll have a little bit of spark. Now, what I'm going to try to do is to feed this light through the side of the through the side of the candle. I can do that without mixing it up because you know these, these little wires are so delicate that they get hung up on everything. I'm going to feed those through. There we go. Oh, there. Now, I'm going to close that up. Have a little lock on it. And I'm going to wind this around. Trying to get this. There we go. There we go ready. Okay, I'm going to work this around this arrangement. Now first I'm going to put it all the way around and then I'll work on where it ends and I even want a little bit of sparkle up in the top. So let's see if we can do that. If I can get it into the top. So that even the top has some sparkle. Let's pull some that way. Kind of wind it through and around. Kind of work it down into our arrangement. Lots of little sparkles. I love sparkles. Just get this. And wind it in and out, in and around.
busy at this point, and I probably won't have it at this speed because of the fact that it's just too busy. But for now, so that you can kind of see where they are and what they're doing, that's the reason why I don't have to play that. Now, lights are still going, but because I have the light, you can't see it. Now, I wanted to just take a moment and uh, say thanks. Thanks to you for staying with me and watching while I created the centerpiece for this design. And if you have, want something a little larger or you want something uh, more, I'll say, more difficult to do, certainly check out my Thanksgiving dining room centerpiece because I know between the two you're going to have something that you're really going to like. Now, I hope the next video is coming. This is going to be under the Thanksgiving 2019 playlist. It'll be a part of that. And so you're going to have several centerpieces. You will have eventually several tablescapes that you can watch. And so I'm looking forward to seeing you on another rainy day in the kitchen. So without saying anything else, blessings to you and yours.